I calculated that it's fully consistent with a long exposure of all the 10 seconds of one of the moons of Mars. NASA's deep space monitors just detected movement near Mars, an interstellar object unlike anything we've seen before. Designated 3I Atlas, it isn't behaving like a comet. Its trajectory is too precise, its glow too controlled, and its tail appears to react almost intelligently. The peculiar thing about it is that uh, it's moving uh, along a trajectory that is very special. Minutes after the data came in, several observatories went dark for scheduled maintenance. NASA servers slowed, then fell silent. Now, leaked images suggest a secondary fragment following Atlas like an escort, shifting formation, pulsing with light. Experts say it's impossible. But if the data holds true, this could be the moment we realize we're no longer alone. The object that shouldn't exist. When NASA's automated sky survey first detected 3I Atlas back in late August, the initial readings didn't make sense. Its trajectory was unlike anything seen since Oumuamua, that cigar-shaped interstellar visitor from 2017 that left astronomers debating whether it was a rock or a probe. But 3I Atlas is different. Its path wasn't random. It curved, subtly but undeniably, as if something was guiding it. At first, NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory marked it as a possible inbound interstellar body, moving at a blistering 93,000 miles per hour, fast enough to cross the distance from Earth to Mars in under two weeks. But then came the anomaly. Instead of flying past, 3I Atlas began slowing down as it neared the Martian orbit. No known interstellar object has ever done that. Within hours, chatter spread through online astronomy forums. Amateur observers in Chile, Japan, and South Africa all reported the same bizarre pattern, a pulse of light, rhythmic, like a heartbeat, and each pulse coincided with a faint electromagnetic burst detected by ground arrays on Earth. The signal wasn't random noise. It repeated every 47 minutes, consistently for over 36 hours. NASA's response was unusual. The data feed from their deep space network, the one tracking Mars-bound objects, suddenly went dark. When it came back online, the most recent logs had been scrubbed. No press release, no clarification, just a vague mention of calibration updates. But independent astronomers had already downloaded fragments of the data, and the raw numbers showed something chilling. 3I Atlas was now in synchronous motion with Mars's rotation, as if it had locked onto the planet's magnetic field. Experts called it a coincidence. But among the researchers, one term began circulating again. Controlled deceleration. It's a phrase last used when Oumuamua showed unexplained acceleration as it left the solar system. Now it's happening again, but this time closer. Much closer. Some claim it's just an icy fragment breaking apart. Others, including a few inside NASA who've since deleted their posts, suggests that the slowing and alignment can't be explained by physics alone. Whatever 3I Atlas is, rock, probe, or something else entirely, it's rewriting the rules of how we understand space travel. And this was only the beginning. Because just days later, Mars satellites started capturing something no one could explain. The images NASA tried to hide. Three days after the first anomalies appeared, NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter captured a series of high-resolution images that were supposed to be routine. But what those images showed triggered a lockdown across several departments. The object known as 3I Atlas had entered a high elliptical path around Mars, not crashing, not grazing, but orbiting. And then came the strangest detail. Its reflective signature wasn't consistent with ice or rock. It shimmered, shifting hues from silver to crimson, almost as if metallic panels were reflecting the Martian sun. When those images briefly appeared on NASA's open access archive, they were gone within an hour. A message replaced them. File temporarily unavailable due to verification. By the next day, all associated observation data had been marked as restricted. That move only fueled the frenzy. Within hours, independent astronomers from Europe and Australia began publishing their own captured frames, taken moments before NASA's blackout. Those leaked images, grainy but undeniable, 
showed a thin, glowing line extending from Three-Eye Atlas toward Mars's surface, like a tether of light. Some dismissed it as digital noise or cosmic rays hitting the sensor. But others noticed something impossible. The tether pointed directly toward the Gale Crater, where the Curiosity rover has been exploring for over a decade. And then, as if on cue, the rover's live environmental feed went silent. NASA's explanation? Routine data transmission pause for system maintenance. But no one believed that. Reddit threads exploded, with users claiming archived Curiosity images briefly displayed faint streaks across the Martian sky, streaks that matched the position of the mysterious tether. Others suggested it could be a plasma trail or a directed energy beam. One astrophysicist from Italy compared the light's wavelength and claimed it resembled the spectrum emissions used in communication lasers. The speculation went wild. Was 3i Atlas transmitting something to Mars? Or worse, receiving something from it? Conspiracy theorists tied it to ancient Martian ruins theories, while skeptics insisted it was all just camera artifacts and imagination. Then came a cryptic post on a private space science forum. An anonymous user, claiming to work for a NASA contractor, uploaded an unmarked file labeled Sequence Delta. Inside were four blurred frames showing a cylindrical shadow crossing the planet's horizon. And in the final frame, a faint flash, like ignition. Minutes later, the post was deleted and the user's account vanished. NASA never confirmed or denied its authenticity, but shortly after, an internal memo leaked to journalists mentioned non-terrestrial signal verification protocols. That phrase doesn't appear anywhere in public NASA documentation. By this point, the world was watching. Was it a hoax, a glitch, or the first evidence of intelligent contact? The mystery deepened when something unexpected happened. Three, I Atlas stopped orbiting Mars. It began to descend, descent toward the red planet. When 3i Atlas began its descent, no one could quite believe it. Interstellar objects don't slow down, they don't enter controlled orbits, and they certainly don't descend. Yet over the span of two Earth days, that's exactly what the data showed. The object's altitude dropped steadily, tracing a spiral path that aligned almost perfectly with Mars's equator. The Deep Space Network's antennae detected subtle fluctuations in its electromagnetic field, pulsing like coded transmissions. NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter tried to capture new images, but within hours, the orbiter's high-resolution camera system was placed into safe mode. Officially, it was due to a power anomaly. Unofficially, engineers were told to halt all imaging attempts. Even more curious was the sudden silence from mission control in Pasadena. Normally, NASA's telemetry updates are public and time-stamped. But that week, there were none. Observatories around the world scrambled to fill the gap, tracking 3i Atlas as it dipped lower, until it finally disappeared behind Mars's horizon. That moment, when it vanished, sent shockwaves through the scientific community. Some thought it had burned up in the thin Martian atmosphere. Others believed it had impacted the surface. But then, a new signal emerged. Using low-frequency radio arrays in Canada and Germany, astronomers detected faint rhythmic emissions coming from the direction of Elysium Planitia, the same region where NASA's InSight lander had once measured Mars quakes. The pattern was consistent with artificial modulation, repeating sequences of prime numbers. It wasn't random, NASA refused to comment. But a day later, the European Space Agency released an unexpected statement acknowledging possible signal interference affecting Mars orbiters. It was subtle, but between the lines, it sounded like confirmation. Something on Mars was transmitting, and every attempt to triangulate its source pointed to the same area where 3 I Atlas had vanished. Then came a leak. A short video clip appeared briefly on a private aerospace server before being taken down. It showed a grainy thermal image of Mars's surface, and at the center, a faint heat signature shaped like a dome roughly 50 meters across. Analysts couldn't agree on what it was. A geological outcrop, a dust storm reflection, or a structure that hadn't been there before. Within 24 hours, multiple amateur astronomers confirmed subtle flashes near the same coordinates, visible through infrared filters. 
The color profile didn't match natural light scattering. It looked more like an energy discharge. If true, that meant 3i Atlas hadn't crashed. It had landed. The news broke across social media, forcing NASA to issue a brief denial. No verified extraterrestrial activity detected, but that only raised more eyebrows. Normally they'd say, no evidence found. This time, they said no verified activity. The wording mattered. As if verification, not observation, was the issue. Scientists began to debate the implications. How could a body entering the solar system at interstellar velocity decelerate, align, and descend without propulsion? Some suggested exotic materials reacting with Mars's thin atmosphere. Others, whispering more boldly, proposed something far more advanced, self-guided technology. Whatever it was, Mars was no longer silent. The signals continued, faint but steady, as if waiting for someone to answer. The silence before the revelation. After the descent of 3i Atlas, something shifted, not just on Mars, but here on Earth. Radio telescopes that had been monitoring the planet for decades suddenly began receiving faint, irregular distortions. They weren't strong enough to call signals, but they weren't natural either. It was as if Mars had developed a heartbeat. For weeks, NASA and the European Space Agency both refused to comment publicly. Their official updates were reduced to vague mentions of instrument recalibrations. Behind the scenes, however, scientists noticed something extraordinary. Every deep space array in operation had quietly redirected toward Mars. Even China's Tianwen mission, which had been focused on geological mapping, suddenly shifted its communication schedule. The world space agencies were staring at the same point, Elysium Planitia, but none of them would admit why. Independent researchers began piecing together patterns. The so-called heartbeat distortions repeated every 11 minutes, then paused for nine. Over time, the timing stabilized into a perfect 20-minute cycle. Mathematicians noted it corresponded precisely with Mars's magnetic pulse fluctuations, implying some kind of synchronization. It wasn't random, it was responsive. Meanwhile, satellite images showed something else. Localized atmospheric glows, short-lived luminescent events, almost like auroras, erupting near the same coordinates at night. Normally, Mars's thin atmosphere can't produce visible auroras, except during major solar storms. Yet these lights appeared under calm conditions. When one amateur astronomer captured it through a near-infrared telescope, the glow seemed to form a pattern, a spiral, identical to the trajectory 3i Atlas had taken on its descent. NASA's official statement dismissed it as a visual artifact. But two days later, the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter released a new map update that curiously omitted that entire region. The high-definition tiles were simply missing. To fill the blank area, NASA used lower-resolution composite imagery from a decade ago. It was the digital equivalent of closing the curtain. That only made the mystery explode further. Scientists on Reddit, YouTube, and even within NASA's own forums began debating one possibility, that 3i Atlas was no longer a simple object, but an instrument, something that had stopped moving because it had reached its destination. Rumors spread that the faint rhythmic pulses were attempts at communication. Linguists and cryptographers started analyzing the prime number sequences, claiming they might form a base counting system, a mathematical handshake designed to test whether we were listening. If that's true, the most advanced thing happening in our solar system right now isn't coming from Earth. Then, abruptly, silence. Every frequency used to monitor the emissions went quiet. The last recorded signal ended exactly 24 hours after a sudden solar flare hit Mars's upper atmosphere. Officially, the flare disrupted all surface communications, but no data showed actual interference in that region. It was as if the signal had chosen to stop. NASA has since resumed regular updates about its Mars missions, yet none mention 3i Atlas anymore. Its trajectory logs, tracking ID and discovery files, have been quietly deleted from the public database. For the world's most transparent space agency, the silence speaks louder than words. Still, one question remains. 
What happens when silence isn't absence, but acknowledgement? And now, as 3i Atlas fades into the shadow of Mars, we're left with more questions than answers. Was it just another interstellar visitor, or the first to truly notice us? NASA's silence only deepens the mystery, because when space agencies go dark, something bright is usually happening behind the curtain. Maybe the story of 3i Atlas isn't ending at Mars. Maybe it's waiting for Earth's turn. One thing's certain, the next transmission we receive from the Red Planet could change everything we thought we knew about who's watching whom in the universe.